Even the state auditors couldn't believe what they found at the Wisconsin Department of Transportation. One of the things I think that concerns us as auditors is what we would want to see there, I think, and what you would expect from the department would be a centrality of information so that DOT could authoritatively respond to your questions about why have costs changed. Mm -hmm. And when we want to do that work, one of the recommendations we end up making to you is that that kind of information kept in one place, accessible to to monitor on an ongoing basis that kind of information from the central office wasn't necessarily available. They presented their findings to the Joint Audit Committee on Tuesday. Along with the recommendation, the DOT provide more information to the legislature and report more frequently. We have protections to prevent us from being here, some in statute, some in um, the way the departments are set forward. So how, how did we get here? And by providing new legislation, does that actually prevent us from getting here again because we already had safeties set up? DOT Secretary Dave Ross has been on the job for less than two months, and he readily admits there's a lot that needs to be fixed. We need to change the culture at DOT. We need to become more performance uh, driven. We need to become more accurate. And one of the other things is we need to break down these silos between all of the division offices <coughs> around the state, which you've already pointed out, the audit so accurately pointed out. Senator Weinhout pointed out it's not just the DOT to blame. At some point, the legislature should have questioned the DOT's exploding costs. Well, I started to think, when does Senator Darling and Representative Nygren and the Finance Committee come to say, you've spent $500 million more than we've expected on this project. You've made a decision to go from six lanes to eight lanes, or all these other things I just mentioned. Maybe that $500 million or a portion of it ought to come back to the legislature and ought to come back to the Finance Committee for us to make a decision. The committee voted unanimously to introduce a bill that would make all the Audit Bureau's recommendations state law. Secretary Ross said the DOT would do that regardless. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.